Right. I found my grandfather, John Henry Wood. He's in a shared grave once more. He's got a big branch or bush growing out of it. Makes it stick out a bit. There's no stone that I can get to that would show him on there. I mean, there is one under there, but it's hard to move because the tree is wedging it fast. Um, I can't see any writing or any inscription around the sides. If there had been, it's faded. Anyway, in the grave, there is um, an Arthur Kelsey, who died 29th of July, 1947, age 41. Gone, but not forgotten. I got a feeling my grandfather died around about 1947 as well. Um, he died before Margaret, Jude and me were born. I don't know if he'd ever met my other sisters. He was a fishmonger. He was married to Elizabeth Louise Merritt, my grandmother. And they had six odd children. My dad was the youngest and um, I've got a feeling he might have been the, the last one to die. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure of that. I think he might have been. I found um, Richard Joseph Wood earlier. John Henry, I found your son. I also found your other son, Thomas. And um, they weren't all in Mark Graves. Um, and whether I'll be able to find them again, I don't know, actually. Um, I was trying to remember everything, really. There's someone else in here as well called um, William Charles Hares, it looks like. A loving father. Um, I have taken photographs, not sure what date he died, but um, he's in there as well, so that's always handy to know when confirming the grave. Grave um, square 147D, grave number 433, shared grave. I've got all the details. There's a train going by, there's an actual funeral going on with some West Indians singing, a huge gathering, all in black over there. So um, this is where my grandfather is, in this bush. It's nice to think you've got a bush though, isn't it? I'm not quite sure what sort of bush it is, but yeah, that's all right. That's allowed. Next to him is um, a Charles Edmund Whiffin, who died the 15th of September 1947, <sighs> aged 65. That's the grave next door uh, for a reference point. And the other side, we've got George William Cowup who fell asleep the 2nd of November 1947, age 79. These are all people that died. You've got Susan Elizabeth Churchward. She died 24th of September 1947, age 54. And there's a, um, a Mary Ann Scott. She died in 1947 as well. Surrounded by people of his own age group, actually. We all died in 94. Well, they all died the same year. So there we are. That's my granddad in there. Your son, my father, Alfred Frederick Wood, he's um, been cremated and he's got a place, a burial place, where his ashes are down in Western Supermare. And I do go and visit him. And, um,. So anyway, there we go. John Henry, it would have been nice to have known you. I was born five years after you died. I'm 61 now and it's taken all this long for me to get here. So I tell you what, if you were near me, you would, like I said to the others, I'd make sure you were remembered even if it was just flowers once a year. But you've got a bush. 
You're surrounded. You've got other family in here, and there's probably lots of family around you that I don't know. Lots of family. Over and out then. Trying to make communication with my grandfather then. John Henry Wood, fishmonger of London. Liked his bears. Used to wear a bowler hat apparently. His father, also John Henry, he was a fishmonger and so was his father before him, another John Henry, and I've still yet to find their graves. But you imagine, it's hard enough finding the graves of those that died within the last fifth, well, all right, say 70 years. Ah. It's hard enough finding them. Somebody like Jane Fletcher, my great great grandmother, see, they had money. Um, I mean, Charles Frederick, did I f locate him earlier? Yeah, I did, but you see, um, Charles Frederick, did I tr find him? No, no, Al Alfred Frederick Stibe, yeah, that's right, yes. I probably, if I went round again, I might just remember, but I'd, I'd have to go all through it again. I'd remember Richards, Joseph, where I've placed flowers, I won't forget. Right, this is Manor Park Cemetery, everyone. The idea was to come up here. I've got to go and... I've still got people to find yet. I'm going, um... <sighs> yeah, Thomas Lot Fletcher, but you see... Over and out for a minute, everyone. <sighs>